How's it going guys? Ryan from Tough Tech here bringing us a brand new video today. I'm showing you guys how to go ahead and do a chat overlay within OBS. So let's get right into the video. All right, guys, before we actually get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the growth and all the likes and comments on all the videos. I have went ahead and responded to every single comment that's ever been posted on the channel. If you guys ever have issues, I'd like to respond within the first 24 to 48 hours. I usually always do as well. But first off, the thing is I haven't uploaded in two months, and I want to apologize for that. But the thing is I really don't know what to upload. There's just so many different things, and I have so many ideas. That I just don't know if it's going to work on the channel. So I'm going to start uploading videos, and then I'll kind of see what works and what doesn't. But if you guys have any issues or you have any ideas for a video, please let me know down in the comments I'll greatly appreciate that and if you guys do post in the comments like thank you guys so so much but let's get right into the tutorial so the very first thing I want to go ahead and do to get the chat to go ahead and show on screen with OBS and on Twitch or YouTube whatever platform you're using is you want to go to streamlabs.com I will have the link for that down in the description as well so you guys don't have to type in you just click on it so you want to go to streamlabs.com we're gonna sign in and you can pick whatever platform you're on I'm gonna be doing this on Twitch for the tutorial Next thing you want to go ahead and do is go to the left side. We're going to click on widgets. It's now going to open up a whole bunch of different tabs, but we're going to go to the chat box. Once we have this open right here, it's going to give you guys kind of a little bit of information what this is all about. So there's a theme. You can pick different themes. It basically just moves the chat in different areas. There's box, which makes it look kind of fancier. There's old school, which looks pixelated, like a 1980s game. A whole bunch of different ones. There's chunky. If you actually are good at programming, there is a couple tutorials as well on YouTube, and maybe I can do a tutorial on this as well because I do know bits and parts of programming. So if you guys want like a custom theme, you can go ahead and if you know how to code, you can go ahead and do one yourself. So it's gonna be different from any other YouTubers. If you know how to code, you can do that. Um, for this tutorial, we're gonna leave it on Twitch because it just puts it on the left side. This is what a lot of other streamers use. Then there's a whole bunch of different check marks you guys can go ahead and choose. You can pick the background color. You can do white. You can do green. There's a whole bunch of different colors you can do. Uh, then there's the text color. Uh, there's also the font size. We want to make it really big like that, which I don't really think looks that good. I'm just going to leave it at like, the default, I think, which is like, I don't even know what it was. Just leave it at 22. This is the one that you basically want to be concerned about is the always show messages. So it'll show every single message. And then there's the the delay here the little timer so if you are an older streamer you've been streaming for a long time you get lots of views you're basically a successful streamer you want to kind of leave this around like 10 to 15 seconds because that's how long it's going to leave the messages on screen if you're a new streamer you're only getting like about like five to ten views you're not going to have that much interaction that much talking on the stream so you kind of want to leave it at about 30 to 45 seconds because maybe you have like a brb screen up like a be right back or an away screen or like the stream's ending soon you kind of want to have the interaction there and if people see their names on screen they're going to be interacting more because they see their names so if you have it on about 15 seconds, it's not going to be that long because it's just going to go ahead and go away in 15 seconds. So if you only have like two or three people talking, it's only going to last there for a short period of time. So you want to put this on about 30 to 45 seconds. So that's what I would do is about 30 to 45. Pick whatever you feel is best for your channel. Then you can also go ahead and mute chatters in here as well. Um, the next thing you want to go ahead and do after customizing your chat box is you want to go up to the widget URL. You're going to go ahead and just click. Then you want to go ahead and highlight it all and press control C or you can just right click on it and press copy now we can go ahead and minimize this we're now gonna go ahead and open up OBS and in your scene which is the left box you're now gonna go to your right scene and you wanna go ahead and right click and press add and then browser source you also can go ahead and click the plus button so add we're gonna go to browser source and name this chat box. You can go ahead and name whatever you want. We're just gonna name this chat box because that's what it is, the chat box. So go ahead and press OK. Now it's gonna go ahead and open up the properties for the chat box. And where it says URL, you want to go ahead and just highlight that and just delete it. Then we're gonna press Control V or you can go ahead and press paste. And I would just leave everything else as the default. The FPS and all this doesn't matter. The default's perfectly fine for everything else. Then go ahead and press OK. And now the screen's just going to turn black, as you guys can see. So if we go ahead and open back up our browser, go over now to the Twitch and type in, this is a test for the chat box. 
as you guys can see now it will pop up in the stream now also what you can go ahead and do is you can actually go ahead and press add you can go to image and then you can also add a background behind the chat as well if you want to do you kind of see a couple streamers do that they'll have like, their brb screen here and then there'll be like, a little portion on like the right or left hand side which has like, their chat box and they'll have like chat underneath highlighted if you guys do want that as well i can go ahead and do a tutorial on that how to go ahead and set up like a professional like brb screen how to like set the hotkeys and all that kind of stuff but basically, guys, that's all you do. We'll go ahead and do a test again. As you guys can see, it saves up for 15 seconds and just disappears. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. If it did, please go ahead and slap a like on it. And if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know down in the comments. And go ahead and share this with your friends. If they also need help with any OBS tutorials, go ahead and share the channel around. But yet again, sorry guys for not posting for so long. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. To love each other I don't think we're in love That's just the drugs